Hi there, this is Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow Books and Artist Tablet Books. In this video, Working with Color, we will explore the color panel, mixer, and color sets. On screen, I have a version of Linux Twilight, which I painted with various artist oils and oils brushes. First, let's have a look at the color wheel. Follow my cursor over here. Here we have the color panel. The circular area around here is the hue ring or color ring. This little circular area right here allows us to change the hue that we may want to paint with. This is the light and saturation triangle, the light value saturation triangle. To increase saturation, we move to the right. To decrease saturation, we move to the left. To lighten the color, we move up, and to darken the color, we move down. Directly below, we have the RGB sliders, and you can see the numeric values change as we move the sample in the saturation value triangle. You can also type in numeric values to change the color if you so desire. Right here we have the clone color button that you can toggle on and off if you were painting with a resource or clone source. Here we have the main color and the additional color and you can toggle them back and forth by clicking the arrow. We also have the pop-up menu that's accessed by this little button here with the three horizontal lines color wheel, color info, display as hue saturation value and use clone color. We can just change the display to hue saturation value and you see the sliders update here and we can toggle it back to display as RGB. In Painter 2019 we also have the temporal color wheel which is a floating color palette that displays on the image in the document window. The temporal color wheel allows us to choose color based on the context of our image. To display the temporal color palette for Mac type command option 1 Windows Control Alt 1. To scale the color wheel you drag from the edge like so and to move it, click here and you can drag it over your image and you can choose color that is complementary to your image. And view it in the context of your image. Now let's have a look at one of my favorite color panels in Painter, the Mixer. I'm going to click here to display the Mixer. With the Mixer, we can add color and blend to come up with unique color mixes. The top of the Mixer panel features color swatches, as you see right here. Directly below is the Mixer pad, and below we have the tools. And below the tools, we have the brush scale slider. Right now, it's set to 35. To the left, we have dirty brush mode, add color, mix color, sample color, sample multiple colors, zoom, and pan. Let's add some color by clicking the add color tool. And I'm going to choose this green right up here. And we'll just add some more green right here, like so. And then I'm going to add another bit of color, some yellow, like so. And then we're going to use the mix to mix in between the two, like so, to make a really nice yellow-green, beautiful yellow-green. And then here we have the dropper. We could sample some of that yellow-green. And I could use the Real Fan Short variant of Artist Oils, and I can just make a brush stroke on my image, like so. And then we could sample multiple colors, and this Real Fan Short includes a dab type that will allow us to sample multiple colors. So I'm going to increase this a little more, and we're going to sample color here, and then we'll paint a stroke on my image. And you'll see we have some of the yellow and some of the green. 
Some of the dab types that support multiple colors are camel hair, bristle spray, watercolor camel hair, watercolor flat, and watercolor bristle spray. Next, let's have a look at the pop-up menu and we can access it by this button here with the three little horizontal bars. Add swatch to color set, new color set from mixer pad, load mixer colors, save mixer colors, reset mixer colors, dirty brush mode, open mixer pad, save mixer pad, clear mixer pad, change mixer background, and you can restore the mixer pad to a number of Save Mixer Pads, Cher Pendarvis, Jeremy Sutton's, John Malcolm's, Karen Boniker's, Skip Allen's, and also restore default mixer. So we can do that and erase the paint that we've added to it. There we go. Now let's have a look at color sets. I'm going to click right here on the color set title bar to choose it, and you'll see Painter Colors is loaded. Painter uses color sets to organize groups of colors into libraries. You can choose a color by clicking on it and paint a stroke. I'm going to do that right now. Click on this mauve purple color. I'm going to grab my stylus and just paint a stroke on the sky like so. Choose another color, paint another stroke. Yeah. You can also access other libraries from the menu. I'm going to click here to display the menu. And you see new color set, new color set from image, new color set from layer, new color set from mixer pad, color set libraries, painter colors is loaded, 72 pencils, gray range, and spectrum. You can also load a Pantone color set, import color set. This would allow you to load other color sets, for instance, that Pantone color set, export color set, possibly a color set that you've made, import legacy color set, color set library view. We can change from small to medium to large or view it as a list, rename a color, Show all hidden items, sort order, saved, hue light saturation, light hue saturation, saturation hue light, and restore default color set. So we just talked about the color set libraries, the mixer, and the color panels. Enjoy the color tools in Painter, and happy painting!